the New Hampshire Democrat Party, though. Time now for the chump line. If you're planning on protesting Georgia's voting laws during the All-Star Game, the DNC is providing bus service from all major hotels to the stadium. This service is free, however, photo ID is required. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that reminds me, the All-Star Game is tonight. Anybody planning to be watching it? I didn't think so. Howie, Joe Biden gone. (laughs) Come on, man. We need to go after that insurrectionist for having a Lego capital set. But after that, let's stop these toy-based prosecutions. I don't want them to know that I had a Lake and Log Forest Theater. No joke. (laughs) The Chump Line is brought to you by Matthews Brothers, America's oldest window manufacturer. This week, celebrating the end of our long national nightmare. Yes, Matthews Brothers is once again open for tours of their wicked, awesome manufacturing facility located in the quaint seaside burg of Belfast, Maine. Go to MatthewsBrothers.com to sign up. I just wanted to let you know that after I copied my ID at Kinko's, then I bought a stereo at Tweeter, a TV at Fredder, underwear at Bradley's, and last but not least, a can of propane at Caldor. I personally, as a youth, preferred to go to Zares. Remember Zares? Yeah. The, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the reps was making a sport of uh, Kamala Harris talking about having to go to Kinko's to make a, a copy of, uh, of your photo ID. I'm looking around for it right here. Cut 16. The Vice President of the United States may be very interested to learn that I can confirm folks in rural Wisconsin and rural communities across the United States have running water, have electricity. And I found this new invention that I don't think was there when Vice President Biden first ran for Senate, but is available now here in rural America, and it's called a camera phone. It's amazing. It has a camera and a phone, and it can actually take a photo of an ID and can be submitted electronically. Shocking, I know. Now, it may not have come to San Francisco, so Vice President Kamala Harris may not be as familiar, but I encourage everyone to check out these new camera phones. Very good. Sometimes I like trolling. If I were a pilot on one of those Democratic planes, I would have brought him right to Cuba. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Has anyone has anyone in the Democrat leadership spoken out about Cuba and about how we're we're with the forces of good and. We want to uh, stop the, uh, the communist dictatorship that has destroyed the island. Did you know that, I, I was reading this today, that back in the late 1950s, supposedly they were so oppressed. And, you know, they did have a dictatorship under Batista. But they had, a, uh, they had more doctors and nurses per capita than much of, uh, much of Europe. They had lower infant mortality rates than much of Europe. It was it was not a uh, an unprosperous society. It was one of the more prosperous societies in uh, in in uh, the Western Hemisphere. And the guy made the point. He said, "So they could make the argument that the embargo, the U.S. embargo, which is just one country, they can do business with any other country in the world, may have destroyed the economy, but they can't make the same." argument with Venezuela. Venezuela has no embargo, and yet they managed to destroy their economy in one-third of the time it took the it took the Castros to destroy the uh, Cuban economy. How sad is it that Texas has gone from remember the Alamo to get me out of here, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you, you see them uh, giving themselves pats on the back and taking victory laps for running away, and it does re- kind of remind you of uh, what happened uh, at the Alamo. Now they want to take the Alamo out of the Texas uh, state history books, though. Hey, Howie, if they can call a mass trespassing event an insurrection, can I call the COVID lockdowns false imprisonment? <laughs> You know, I hadn't thought of that, but what what else what else could you call it? False imprisonment. 
all locked up for a year. Internment. Yeah, that's yeah. That's a yeah, that's another one. Email Allen saw the picture. I, I I showed the picture of my cell phone. It's got a picture and he said very touching photo of Gunner on your cell phone uh screen. Yeah, Gunner was a good dog. I miss Gunner. Anyone over two years old should wear a mask in case they come into contact with Fauci. Earplugs are optional but highly recommended. Yeah, I got <laughs> Yeah, they may Kids, infants and uh, young children made enough noise on the planes before the masks, didn't they? Who wanted more noise? But you got you to gotta hear this cut again. If you haven't heard it, cut 21. The children who are not able to get vaccinated because of their age should follow, their parents should follow with them, the guidelines of the CDC that unvaccinated children of a certain age greater than two years old should be wearing masks. No doubt about that. Well, what about when your great-great-grandchildren get on the plane, Dr. Fauci? Oh, it's a private jet. That's right. I forgot. You make enough money to, to fly private like you're, a, like you're a Texas Democrat legislator. Hunter Biden was the first person to sign up for Doses to Doors. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did have deliveries. He wasn't the first guy to get his stuff delivered to the Chateau Marmont. But, uh, you know, uh, unlike John Belushi, he came out uh, uh, vertical, not horizontal. A man brought a sword to a gunfight. It happened Monday after midnight. The story was lame. It didn't give his name. He was described as an Everett man. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes there are a lot of people are making that mistake in these uh hot, hot summer days well they're not so hot around here but they're hot in the western uh, part of the country they're uh, bringing swords knives to gunfights never works out well does it whoa, 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 whoa. we can't support an overthrow of cuba it's an island utopia well, they have bread lines and don't have 23 choices of deodorant. That's a good thing. They also are replacing their aging fleet of fossil fuel powered DeSotos with green energy transportation. Donkeys. You know, think if the communist dictatorship is overthrown in Cuba. Think about the, the incredible bull market there's going to be for antique automobiles in Havana been looking for one of those big fend cars from the 1950s not just the sodos get yourself a chrysler a studebaker See, the problem, a hudson the problem is they're all outfitted with lawnmower tractor engines <laughs> <laughs> they're not stock parts anymore i know well it's a it's it, again it's a, it, it'll be a remarkable re- recovery for the hot rod industry they'll all have to be that's what they'll have to all be turned into Jen Saki said Kamala Harris traveling to Finland to address the unrest in Cuba. <laughs> that that would seem appropriate, wouldn't it? That was your last chump line message. Thank you for calling Howie Carr. You chump. Let's have a let's have a, a Jen Psaki, uh cut here. Uh, this is Caitlin Collins uh, asking about the remittance ban, as if as if the the Biden administration doesn't have enough problems with uh, Florida. I mean, Florida's gone as far as they're concerned. But one reason that they're they've kept this remittance ban going is because that just that just props up the uh, Cuban dictatorship, meaning uh, people that have escaped in those uh, those. Uh, uh, water uh, born uh, DeSotos, they uh, they get over to the U.S. and they do well and they start sending money back to their uh, to their impoverished, uh, oppressed relatives. Uh, cut 12. And on Cuba, in this White House statement today, you note the, quote, tragic grip of the pandemic, but under current U.S. sanctions that were put in place by the last administration, but have not been changed by this administration, Cuban exiles cannot send remittances to their family that lives in Cuba. So why is the Biden administration continuing that policy? 
Why isn't the Biden administration continuing that policy? CNN wants to know. Why aren't we helping to prop up the communist dictatorship? Why aren't we just doubling down on helping uh, the, the heirs to the Castro brothers continue to oppress a third or a fourth generation of Cubans? Why, why, why? That's it for the chump line today. The chump line is the recorded voicemail message service of the Howie Car Show. You can call and leave a message any out, anytime between the hours of 1 and 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Dial 844-500-4242, 844-500-4242. Press 2 for the chump line. Leave your message. We may or may not play it at this time each weekday. The Chump Line is, uh, and if you want to hear more Chump Line messages, you can always listen to Chopped Chumps. Those are the messages that didn't make the version you just heard. You can We post them around 7 o'clock every night, Eastern Daylight Time. You can get them wherever you get your Howie Car Show podcast. The Chump Line is brought to you by Matthews Brothers, America's oldest window manufacturer. This week, celebrating the end of our long national nightmare. Yes, Matthews Brothers is once again open for tours of their wicked awesome manufacturing facility located in the quaint seaside burg of Belfast, Maine. Go to MatthewsBrothers.com to sign up. If I were a pilot on one of those Democratic planes, I would have brought him right to Cuba. Yeah, they could have had cocktails with Angela Davis and all the rest of those uh, runaway cop killers down there that uh, the the Castros uh, took in. It's the only way to fly. (laughs) Ah, ah, ah. I'm Howie Carr. Howie Carr will return after this brief commercial break. 